So you have an aerial or satellite image, for example, taken from Google Earth, and a coordinate file associated with the image, and you want to bring the image into Revit. In this video, I'll show you how to bring in this image in the correct location and use it for your site plan. You don't have a coordinate file? Or well, no worries, because in my previous video, I showed how to georeference an image from Google Earth in AutoCAD. Make sure you watch that one first. Hi everyone, I'm back to you with BIM Lounge. It's good to see you. Make sure you don't miss any of our weekly BIM productivity videos. Now, let's get into today's video. Let's go ahead and prepare a Revit model so it's optimized for this process. What I'm going to do is uh, go to Manage Project Units and uh, make sure that our length is set as the same unit as the one that we were showing in the AutoCAD file that we used to georeference the image. In this case, meters for me, and uh, make sure you have a generous rounding here. I picked uh, six digits, but go ahead and pick what um, you think it's right. Now consider that once you start using images, you lose the ability to be accurate because obviously Google Images have so much resolution to work with. And uh, I would apply a similar rounding to the degrees so you can enter more accurate angles. And I would add, make sure you have a separate view to work in. Um, I went ahead and picked uh, an appropriate scale for a side view and uh, I made sure that my survey point and project base point are visible. Now we're ready to bring in the image that we georeferenced and uh, it has the JGW file connected to it, but Revit won't necessarily read that file as being associated with the image. So we'll just have to get this information manually. But let's go ahead, let's go ahead and import the image. I'll just drag and drop. And of course you can uh, use the clean version if you have one. Right now, just to simplify this explanation, I'll just leave the one with the annotations. Now you have the image and if you do have the original CAD file that you used to uh, georeference the image, go ahead and use the information within it. You can select the image and you can uh, grab the image width and you can take a note of the angle right here. I'm going to go ahead and copy this and back into Revit. This is the width reading and uh, this is not the width in pixels, this is the real life width in meters of this extent. So now I scaled it correctly. Now I can go ahead and um, angle this 0.7148 for that reading in CAD. And that's going to make everything a lot easier. Now with those two parameters that we got from the CAD file, we have the orientation and scale, but the image is not in the right spot yet. So let's go ahead and uh, take this, which is the Easting and Northing. So the Easting first, we're going to copy that information from the JGW file. And uh, let's go ahead and create a model line. And what that does is will allow us to snap a point at that point of the image. And now what I want to do is uh, go to the coordinates, specify coordinates at a point and uh, pick this very point. And now, since we do have the easting first, we're going to insert it here. And that's the value. And then we're gonna go get the northing and we can paste it in here. Perfect, so now let's go ahead and uh, get a, a spot coordinate. And you see that the coordinate is now shown on there. Now let's go ahead and verify those two angles. We're going to place a marker there or a line so we can place markers. And again, spot coordinate. And another spot coordinate right here. And let's go ahead and compare them. And as you can see, the coordinates correspond. You know, there's a slight error there, but I think for visualization or even for a site is acceptable, that one. Let's check this one. And you see that we're reading uh, values that are pretty close. 
we could have obviously zoomed in a little more and uh, got more accurate points. You can probably be more accurate than me, but consider that this image is georeferenced and so it's in the right spot. It has the right orientation and scale. So now you can um, bring in a survey or a civil 3D file and hopefully this will be accurate enough for you to use this as a base to get more information about your context. Now, of course, let me know if you have any questions about this process, but did you know that you can uh, reuse these uh, Google images for various applications, including your uh, site in CAD or Civil 3D, or even to improve the resolution of the ground imagery in uh, InfraWorks? Well, in these videos, I show just that. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.